Welcome back to another video. We're going to take a look at selection traps in Katia V5. So by default, the selection trap options are located over here where we have that orange arrow. And we see that by default we have the select option. There is also a possibility to activate selection trap above geometry. We're going to see exactly how we can use this. Keep in mind that you can either have select activated or selection trap above geometry. If I'm going to swap that, we're going to see that this will now be activated. But by default, if I don't have any geometry, we won't see the functionality of this feature. And now, as we can see, we have this on the tool palette, so the selection trap above geometry, but that is not activated. We still have the select tool over here activated. In order to have this overwrite the normal selection, I will need to click on that once. And now when I do a selection, this will be a selection above geometry. But in this case, as we can see, it's nothing, uh, let's say, different, because I don't have any geometry added to the scene. So let's proceed to the following option, because I will take um, another, let's say, um, note on this at the end. But we have the rectangle selection trap, and this is the default one that is available within Katia V5. Let me also jump and add some sketches so we can see better how the selection uh, will work. I also create a profile over here like this. A rectangle, and let me add something uh, else. I will add an elongated hole over here. So now, with the default selection, we know that in Katia V5, we mostly use rectangle selection. So this is the same within um, other software, not only computer the design, but 3ds Max or Blender, for example. And this will select everything that will be inside that trap. So for example, now we see that over here I only have that selection for the radius, but I don't have the outline of that. But if I will go with the following option, which is intersecting rectangle selection trap, if I will do the same selection, we're going to see that now I will also have the, this um, arc selected. So this, me this, this means that everything that is intersecting the selection will be selected. So as we see over here, even though I have a rectangle over here, only those two edges will be selected because only those will be intersecting the profile. If I want to have them all selected, I can do a large rectangle selection and have them all selected. Now we can also make use of the user filter selection uh, to work, let's say, together with um, the desired selection trap. For example, if I will only go for point filter, and I will do a selection like this, we're going to see that in this case, the four vertices will be selected. If you have a more complex geometry and you don't know exactly how many vertices you have selected, you can always check over here on the left uh, screen, bottom uh, part over here. So we have four elements selected, the four vertices in this case. If I will do a selection like this, we're going to see that now we have 11, and keep in mind that we also have the origin selected over here. And also for those two radius, so the, the arcs, we also have that vertices selected. Now, I will leave the user selection, and I will proceed over here with the selection trap. The following one is called polygon selection trap, and uh, just like the name, this implies that we need to define a polygon. You can left click to add points. And when you want to finish the selection, you can double click. And as you can see, that polygon selection means that we have selected the circle, the elongated um, profile over here, and also the, um, the planes within the reference. If you want to, you can further create a new selection, but the previous one will no longer be added. So if you want to do that, you can hold down shift, do a double click, and we see with shift we don't have this added. But if I will hold control, this will add an additional selection. 
So keep that in mind. In Katia, just like when you do, for example, um, corners or fillets, chamfers to some edges, if you hold down control, you can do a multiple um, selection. Let's go with the following one, which we see is the free hand selection trap. Now I will click once over here so that nothing is selected. And by default with a freehand uh, selection, if you are coming from another software, you may be considered that you need to sketch a profile like this. And at the end, you're going to see that that won't be selected. So this is not how the, um, the freehand selection trap works in Katia. You need to intersect profiles. For example, if I will select those, and I will move that selection between those two, I will have those two edges selected. Again, if I will hold down control, and I will select the other two. If I want to subtract from a selection, I can hold down control, and I can just go once again on the same profile. As we can see, we can um, easily add or remove profiles like this. It's the same over here. If I will come with a selection, I will intersect the three-point arc, that edge, and the other one, we're going to see how all of those will be selected. So in some cases, this allows you to, to select um, more convenient. We also had the possibility to do an outside rectangle selection trap. So just as the name implies, this will select everything that is outside the selection. For example, if I will select um, like this, you're going to see that everything that is um, also will be selected. This circle hasn't been selected. And if I will have this incorporated into a selection, you're going to see that the same selection will be done. So no matter if I'm just intersecting this, if I will select it within that rectangle, we will going to have the same selection in this case. But if I will go with the following one, which is outside intersecting rectangle, if I will just do a small intersect with that, we're going to have that selected. And in this case, I will need to fully incorporate the selection within that rectangle so that it won't be selected. Since this selection will do, um, will select everything outside that. Okay, so now we have those profiles. Let me define a new sketch in order to highlight the other feature that we discussed previously. So I'll just do a rectangle like this in order to have a pad. And now we see by default we are back to rectangle selection trap and to select that means I can do a selection like this. So I started the selection from the outside of the 3D model. And I can do that. As you can see, we won't have that sketch selected. But if I will incorporate everything, we're going to have that, in this case, selected. The main difference with this one, which is selection trap above geometry, this means that we can start uh, our selection directly on the geometry. So we don't need to hold down left click somewhere on the exterior profile. For example, I can come over here and I can do a selection and that will, um, will select that. But we also need to have this, so we have this rectangle selection type enabled. But if I will go, for example, with intersecting rectangle, I can start directly from this so with that enabled. As you can see, this is also orange and this is also orange. That means I can start over here, I can just do an intersection, and we're going to have that selected. Now, we can also do a polygon selection trap in this case. As we can see, we're going to need to specify that polygon. Again, this won't be selected over here, mainly because we have that previously defined on the geometry. So let me just change that. So I'm going to drag and drop this sketch and I'm going to move it. So I will just move the pad to be in front of this. Let's see. 
this should reorder if not I'm just gonna have this um, copied go over here defining work object have this space over here and uh, the previous sketch I will just have that deleted usually it works if you're gonna drag and drop that in order to change that um, chronology definition I'm not sure exactly why it didn't work over there but now we have the pad which was previously uh, let's say defined and only afterwards we're gonna have the sketch and then we're gonna go over here and start a selection above geometry that means I can start my selection over here and again we don't gonna have that um, fully selected but if I will select everything now it will work and let me start this directly from the geometry which is this one and I can do that and I will select everything this will only select everything because all the elements are within the same sketch so if I will try to only have this selected that won't work but I still have the possibility to hold down control and have those selected and that means I can only select the desired elements the same over here if I'm gonna hold down control I can do that okay so this was the video regarding the selection traps within Katia v5 by default most of the um, let's say users will only use the rectangle selection trap and the default select but uh, now you know how you can also use selection trap of, above geometry and the other the polygon the freehand also what is the difference between the outside rectangle selection trap and outside intersecting rectangle selection trap okay so if you find this video useful i will position a similar video over here to the left at the top i will put a playlist with katia v5 tips and tricks and also a subscribe button so thanks for watching